What is the weirdest thing you have ever heard in a public place? An old lady to another old lady on the bus. I tried reading the Karma Sutra. I thought it would be erotic but it just made me very angry. Quote. Not that strange I guess but. I was in the bathroom at a Target once and I heard a kid in the stall say. Daddy are you pooing? And the dad in a sad defeated voice replied. Sigh yeah. Heard a guy saying to another guy coming out of a gas station. He wears a scarf around his neck so you can't see where he's decaying. I have never been so painfully curious. A couple having an argument in a pub on the next table that got louder and louder and culminated in the woman yelling, then why won't you eat my pussy? Quote. Overheard at my university student center. I've been having sex for years and not once has anyone told me I was doing it wrong. My co-worker turned the corner with the phrase. Giant glob of puss. Right in my mouth. I just didn't even want to know. Someone was taking a shit and eating and talking on the phone. I was disgusted and impressed with the multitasking. I heard two girls arguing over what year it was. They decided, eventually, that it was 2007. It was 2010. I stole a chainsaw and now I don't know what to do with it. In the library, a dude on his phone, no dad I'm sure I didn't catch it through anal sex, tears of joy tears of joy. Our snazzle cakes our sniffy sniff to this day I've always wondered what the gent meant by that. He was not eating, or crazy, just a dude walking. Man and woman examining a parcel they've just picked up from the post office. Woman. Examining label. Ukraine? What have you been ordering now? Man. Oh. That'll be the gas masks. I once heard a group of elderly women who were talking about some man still covered in, smelling. Like, pussy juice. Story from a friend. She was browsing the tampon aisle. A random woman comes up to her, points to one of the budget brands and says, don't buy those ones. They come out when you cough. Quote. I'll keep you updated on the blowjob front. Walking behind them between gates. I overheard one stewardess say to the other. Yes. I'm still seeing him. I like him because he licks like a lesbian. My neighbor woman's friend around 10 p.m. as they enter the building. Just let me scrub up my pits and my vag and I'll be ready to go back out. Probably not the weirdest but I remember overhearing this teenaged girl at church trying to convince another teenaged girl that they weren't pregnant. Dropping a coffee off to my girlfriend at work. Guy out front of the studio is on the phone and the brief bit I caught was, I didn't mean to have sex with that sister. Whoops. Walmart story. A father was in line for prescriptions and said to his five-year-old-ish daughter, Go find some hot chicks for daddy while I wait here in line. I've heard the sounds of someone's ear being licked on the bus. Shivers. Walking past a guy in Glasgow who was talking on the phone who said, somewhat frantically, there's 20 grand in a shoebox on the back seat.
who keeps 20 grand in a shoebox and then leaves it sitting. In the morning when it's cold, my nipples get very protruding. I was walking with my friend and we heard a kid shout, call me Chicken Kiev. We laughed about it for the rest of the walk. Heard a guy on the bus talking about killing his grandmother. Then ending the sentence with, hypothetically speaking. Doubt he was being hypothetical with the tone of his voice. I don't like that family so I'm going to kill them all by drowning them in the pool and then move into their house, my daughter while discussing the Sims. Well he wasn't very happy with me so, needless to say, I masturbated all over it. A woman on the phone at the airport, no they shouldn't be playing with a dead squirrel. Quote. You ever tell anyone I tipped you? I'll kill you. I swear it. I'll kill you. Said to me by customer in my taxi. It's not the weirdest I don't think. But last week I rode my bike past the bus station in a seedier part of town and heard someone say. But in the end I only got a misdemeanor, as I zipped by lol. I have two dicks. One for piss and one for cum. So I shit myself again at work. Walking around campus. I overheard one dude tell another, yeah. But my foreskin is bigger than yours. I am not scared of snakes. Carpenter's son to carpenter. Dad. What's that? That's a B-day. What's a B-day? Son. That's a twat washer. And they were roommates. I overheard a group of teenage boys out in a small country town talking about their penis sizes and how they all know how big each other are. People just don't talk about that in public lol. The bus driver told his wife that he did not know how to justify himself to his daughter for accidentally feeding the fish with rat poison. I think I underscore am underscore the person who says the weird things. Somebody at another school said that when they doing a drug deal, a snake licked their butthole. I laughed. Funniest accidental eavesdrop ever. But why are they doing drugs? Moaning sound from behind a bush on highway side. I masturbate to my little pony. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.